a number of the bulk chemicals that are being produced on this planet are in the category of endocrine disruptors. And the one that I talked today when I was talking was bisphenol A, which is uh, the monomer chemical which is polymerized to form polycarbonate. So drinking bottles and compact discs and teeth fillings, all sorts of things. Um, the, the history of bisphenol A is quite, is quite interesting because it was developed as an oestrogen. It was the, one of the first synthetic oestrogens. And then it was displaced by diethyl stilbestrol, DES, which is a much more powerful synthetic oestrogen. And the guys who were trying to develop these drugs put it aside. But um, then the polymer industry discovered that you could use bisphenols to make Bakelite, the one of the first plastics, and then subsequently polycarbonate. So now it's being made in, in hundreds of thousands of tons a year. And um, unfortunately it leaches out of, of polycarbonate, both in landfill and in feeding bottles and things like that. And the toxicology that was originally done, which was supposed to be protective, um, set a level at which it would be safe to take it in on a daily basis. And the research that's being shown now by people like Professor von Zahl and others is that those, li those limits are much too high. What, when they look at the most critical stages of life, which is development, then um, there are changes taking place at, at levels thousands of times lower than these safety limits that were set a few years ago. That's just one chemical. Um, what the soup is doing, we really are not in a position to be able to ascertain. You know, as a toxicologist, if you give me one substance, I can usually go away and uh, get an idea about the toxicity. If you give me two, I'm starting to struggle. Once you get more complex than that, we don't have the tools. So under those circumstances, our best bet is to, is to go for a policy of minimization of exposure. And um, that is what the REACH um, initiative in Europe is, is trying to achieve. With REACH, at least, um, you're going to be able to get at the data which will give you the chance to make an informed decision. Um, with pesticides, which are highly regulated, then we have that information and indeed some of us are involved in constructing comparative hazard assessments to, to rank pesticides by hazard so that we can say well okay for this job we'll use the least hazardous ones that are available by this classification. Now for bulk chemicals in general we don't have that information it's kept either the, either the research hasn't been done which is the commonest thing or the, um, the producers say it's confidential. Now under REACH that will become public information and then you know we will be able to make these comparative hazard assessments and people will be able to make choices about what they choose to expose themselves to. I think there are a lot more people waking up to this now and um, but I mean the, the take home message is we have no real alternative other than to use a precautionary reduction. I don't think there is anything else we can do really.